Hello everyone and welcome back to the session number 41 in Planner app. We have implemented the global error handler, we have implemented the localization, so right now we have uh, we implemented theming, so we have somehow a completed app that actually works. Alongside our working, we faced some little bugs here and there, and uh, I have fixed them actually, and we are going to go together throughout the, the code and what we have done, because they are just little things. So I have started by logging in to the system, and hit login button. So as you can see here, we have the localization. I have added it outside. Um, forget about this like home page. It's something very simple. Here we are. We can switch between uh, mud, white, and dark. One of the features that we are seeing is that this one, the background color of this one, was actually like the same for that that one. And uh, so like they were conflicting. It looks like not that good so we figured out that issue because the background color of this label is actually the background color of the surface and not the background and it makes sense because it's doesn't make sense actually to put an input like flying in the background so it's a good idea so i've solved that by just adding this um let's say yeah the, adding this mod paper or this card uh, right now we have localization as you can see uh, regarding the issue that shows for some of you that it's not updating directly all the components this, the fix is on the way all what you have to do is just upgrade the version of multi-languages multi laser and the issue will be solved because this is from the library itself nothing related to that code um, if the user is not logged in like if I log out let me turn it back to English so I can understand the code out there and I try for example to jump for plans page uh, basically, I cannot right now because I decorated this. As you can see, you don't have access for this page. Log in here, which makes sense because I should be logged in for being able to do that. So those are like little things. Let me go right now to the code. I will open Git Kraken, or if you are on Visual Studio, what you can do is actually go to Git and click on Manager Branches. And here you will see that we have implementing uh, bug fixes. So we have this one. And if I double click, I'll be, I'll see over here what I have changed. So first of all, if I click over here, just I've added mod paper uh, to the form. In that case, I have solved that error. The other thing I have done is if I go to the login page, I have changed the localization for some missing words. As you can see, like welcome to, I have added this one because some, some keywords wasn't localized. I have added that one. And maybe if I stop the app, we can see that better. And one more thing I have done is actually, well, what is that? Get the changes, manage branches. Let's go back to manage branches. Here we go. We have the register page. It is the same, just like some little uh, keyword that wasn't localized. As I've said, I've added this um, create edit plan wasn't surrounded by a page. So I've added the page and the title for that page. So just little things, we already have done them before. I have just added them over here. I have localized, adding more localization that we have missed from the previous session, like localizing the, let me open that in a full screen. So before like home plan, this breadcrumb, I have added localization for that. It was just as straightforward as this. If I go back over here, what I have added as well, plans, what do we have? The same, adding missing keywords. Here the same, localizing the uh, breadcrumbs. And there is another comment over here that contains also this, the same thing. This one, adding the authorized attribute for every page that actually, because we need that. What I have done also is adding the light theme to the, to the login page. Nav menu, what I have done in the nav menu is, yeah, localizing the text in the nav menu. It was missing uh, some URLs and 
I have added some logo, add the tracer if you open up this one. Yes, in case the user is not authorized, I have added a link to go to the login page and show like you don't have access for this page. So just like little things, you can just follow them and you can find them in the last two uh, comments. And basically, this is everything for our app. We are right now ready to take this app and put it on Azure using the Azure Static Web Apps, which is an amazing new technology released by Azure recently. So to, to host the static web apps, especially Blazor, like React, Angular, or even a static HTML and CSS web pages. So we are going to see how to do that with using GitHub Actions as well, because it contains a built-in mechanism to deploy the app from your GitHub repository and put it directly on Azure and make it available for public, just very straightforward. So this is the topic of our next session. Thank you so much for watching and see you there.